say you own an umbrella factory and you find out that the woman you've hired to manage your umbrella factory, well, every time it rains, she comes in soaking wet. Apparently, the whole concept of using an umbrella is foreign to her. Would you fire her? I wouldn't necessarily fire her. I didn't hire her to use an umbrella. I hired her to make umbrellas. In other words, I didn't hire her to keep herself dry. I hired her so she'd keep everybody else dry. And that's very similar to how it works with our gifts and talents and passions that God gives us. See, God gives every one of us abilities that he wants us to use, but not for ourselves. Ephesians 3, 2, Paul's talking about it, and he says, You have heard of the stewardship of God's grace, the stewardship, the accountability of God's grace that was given to me for you. God gave me his grace for you. God gave me abilities for you. God gave me talents for you. And way too often, we're so busy worrying about ourselves, keeping ourselves dry, that we don't ever keep anybody else dry. We don't ever do the things that God wants us to do to use our gifts and talents and passions to help others. But God didn't give me the gift of teaching so I could teach myself. He doesn't give somebody the gift of love so they can love themselves. He doesn't give somebody the, the, the gift of helping others so they can help themselves. He gives it to us so we can help others. So ask yourself, am I using my gifts, my talents, my passions, my abilities to the benefit of others, especially those in the church? Well, we should be. Because the person I'm going to fire from being the manager of my umbrella factory could well be a person who keeps themselves dry, but lets everybody else get wet. And that's today's jumpstart.